Okay, good morning everyone. Good to see everyone here. If you can hear me and see me, type in the chat box. Uh, today event is open to public, it's for the public. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please like and share the post. Please like and share the post. Morning, uh, Cassandra, Agnes, Banho. Okay, let me say my intention. My intention is at the end of 11 o'clock, right? Uh, now it's 10.30 and uh, by 11 o'clock, everyone will feel that you all made the right decision to invest the last one hour together. You have gotten a lot of value in terms of uh, investment of your time in this one hour and you are able to take whatever you learned today or whatever you, you discovered today and go and do your research and you are able to Put that into action, type in, take action. Okay, I think the important thing at the end of the day is be able to take action. Yes or no? Okay, so um, thank you, Ban Ho. Okay, so remember to take action. Okay, so uh, let's do something different. Uh, whatever I share with you today is for education purpose. Uh, this, we have our regular weekly webinar every week for the last like many years. And our, today is open to the public and... Whatever we do is for entertainment purpose. These are not advised to buy and sell. Type yes if, if you understand. Okay. Entertainment or education purpose. Huh? Okay. Not, not advised to buy and sell. Okay. Please do your research. Okay. So members of public also, um, or those in, not in the SMT community also welcome. Okay. But I think majority of you are. Okay, so uh, next thing I want to ask y'all is, which I've never said, don't do this, right? Like some of y'all are, are with me like every week, you know, every week you see me on webinar and things like that, right? How long uh, have you been in this SMT community? Okay, think about it. How many, see who, who is the longest. Okay, how long are you in this community already? Okay, today I don't see a lot of uh, old faces, uh, but... Uh, how long are you in this community? So we have two years, one year, one month, 1.5 years, two years plus, two years plus, one year. We don't have the old bird today. Yeah? <laughs> okay, oh, no, but not here today. One year plus, okay. Two years, okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, since... Uh, Quite a lot of you are new, okay? So consider new, lah, okay? Uh, wow, Chi Chong outside is about three years, okay? Uh, two years, actually not new, lah. Some people like 10 years over there, right? People like uh, Bruce, people like, some of them, Obert already never come in, <laughs> okay? Okay, but uh, yeah, that means like SMME, okay? Maybe we must call back the, the, the Obert to come back, okay? So anyway, um. Yeah, so um, since we are going to, majority of you are new, uh, consider new, lah, okay? So we, I will talk about maybe like what's happening in the market right now, okay? I think if you don't miss my Monday morning entertainment, right, you know what we are looking at next, yes or no, okay? Uh, so what are we looking at next in the market, okay? Uh, 1st of June, what is 1st of June? What's happening in 1st of June? Okay, 1st of June, uh, what will happen in terms of the market? No fresh chicken. <laughs> you all concerned about chicken. <laughs> uh, what else? Okay, China is opening up. Yes or no? Hello. We could talk about this before, right? Okay, Shanghai is opening up. Uh, the, the, and, okay, so that, that's, that's good news. Yes or no? Okay, Ju uh, June... Uh, China is opening up, Shanghai is opening up for their unreasonable, unreasonable COVID measure. They're opening up. So I think will be uh, positive, okay? Uh, inflation numbers, uh, do you all see the inflation numbers recently? Okay, uh, I think this month, watch it, uh, this month, if it continue to weaken, I think that would be a plus also, okay? So if uh, inflation continue to weaken, supply chain start to, I think it will start to smooth up slowly, uh, but the stock market may react earlier than the supply chain issue. Yes or no? Okay. So once the supply chain issue resolved, then maybe later part we have uh, uh, less inflation. 
less pressure inflation, there may be less pressure for the Fed to increase very fast. I think it's good to increase, okay? Because generally, uh, increased interest rate over the years, right, uh, always uh, cause the market to go up, okay? By now, you all should know. Okay, some of you all don't know. How many don't? How many know? How many don't know? Like, know if you know or don't know if you don't know. Okay. Okay. So, um, recently there are some talks that uh, our inflation right now is like nineteen ninety four. Okay, nineteen ninety four when uh, uh they increased the in uh, when inflation was high. And then they want to increase interest rate. But same thing, okay, from whether they increase interest rate in 94, 99, 2004, or 2015, the each time when they after the initial after the initial rate hike, okay, after the initial rate hike, uh, they would take about a few months, uh, okay, uh, uh, three months, six months for the initial rate. After the initial rate hike, the market will be fearful. And after that, going forward. After six months, after one year, generally the market is higher after the initial rate hike. Okay, I think a lot of you all know in the community, but those that don't know, I'm sharing with you all here. Okay, maybe because today is uh, public, uh, so I just for share with you all one more time. Okay, just to uh, maybe you can go, if we have data, we can go uh, back further. Okay, if let's say we have data. Okay, so. Um, Move the okay. So this is ah okay. So you see ah, we have O four okay, O four initial rate height okay, initial rate height. Okay, this monthly chart ah, monthly chart. Okay, show you the uh uh show you uh weekly charts okay, weekly charts okay. So after the initial rate height, the market may go sideways first. The market will go sideways first. And then after that, as they continue to increase, 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 the market, the, the stock market, the S&P 500 generally go higher, okay? Uh, same thing over here in 1.5. Initially, when it increase, okay, the market may be fearful over here. And then after that, when they continue to increase, the market generally go up higher, okay? Uh, this is the same as 1999 in 1994, same thing, okay? First, first few months, everybody will be careful. And then after that, hey, eh, actually, why are we increasing interest rate? Because the, because the economy is improving, you know? So, and then after that, it continue. Okay, so uh, it is not like what the newspaper say. Lah, okay, if you look at data over the last, uh, uh, how many years? More than 20 years, okay? Data, right? It shows that generally it's like that okay same thing for inflation okay inflation the initial inflation our uh, market will be fearful and then when the mark inflation slows down and market will start to pick up okay okay that is the the same issue okay okay so uh yeah so this is all to share with you all any question if you uh so usually why they increase interest rate why they increase interest rate it's because of inflation, yes or no? Okay, because they want to tighten, right? So uh, same thing, okay? So during this period, when inflation starts to pick up, they will start to increase the interest rate, same thing, okay? So it is not something that uh, has not happened before, okay? It's something that happened before. The only thing is this time round, the, the increase in the inflation is much faster, okay? It's much faster. Uh, I... Most likely because of the war issue, because of China lockdown issue, that's quite cause a supply chain issue. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, so that is the gist. Okay, but supply chain issue will not last forever. Yes or no? Okay, uh, uh, this war, uh, I hope, and uh, actually, I, I, when, I work, when I read newspaper, I also find, yeah, why must have war? Okay, why cannot just co? Uh, live together happily okay so eventually war will end and then uh, uh supply chain will smooth out okay even if it doesn't smooth out there will be alternative sauce do you follow what i'm saying like like they have fresh chicken then eat frozen chicken ah. yes or no okay uh unless unless you are a chicken rice store ah. let me read it they, 
they need fresh chicken. Now, okay. Okay, so um okay, so let's go on. Um let's go on next. We look at uh the SMP. P500 first, okay, S&P 500. By now, you all should know that, okay, so for the public, we split into different time frame. Okay, we split into a uh, very long-term time frame, long-term time frame, medium time frame, short-term time frame, okay? So I will start, uh, for those that come every week, I so like a repeat, uh, okay? So we will start from the very, very long-term time frame, like based on economic cycle, stock market cycle. I think we are still in the middle, my view, which may be wrong. My view, we are still in the middle of the recovery cycle uh, right now, okay? We are in the middle of the re recovery cycle right now and uh, so we're still recovering, okay? Um, start to pick up will be industrial, uh, basic material, energy will start to pick up. Those sectors will start to pick up. Uh, type yes for the SMD graduates if I mentioned this before, okay? I mentioned this before, right? Okay, so next one is for the... Uh, Long-term cycle, long-term cycle meaning you say one year, around one year, okay? We use position weekly, okay? Basically, position weekly, how it, how it works is if the candlestick is blue in color, that means it's bullish. If the candlestick is green in color, it's bearish, okay? So basically, it's like that, quite simple. Blue means up, um, red means down, okay? So by now, you all should know that this is a red color. So currently, in terms of position weekly, it is up or down, up or down, position weekly, down, right? Because in the same straight, right? Okay, so very long term, up. Uh, market cycle, economic cycle is up. Okay, uh, long term, one, one year is down right now. And then next one is uh, three to nine months. Uh, three to nine months, same thing. We will use the candlesticks uh, to tell us whether the trend is up or down. So currently the, the trend is up or down. Okay, down. Okay, very good. So that's, that's the time frame for three to nine months. Okay, three to nine months. And I think we don't, don't, need, don't need to go into shorter time frame. Okay, but let's look at some observation right now on the daily charts. Okay, what are the observation of the daily charts is number one, um, we can see that this dotted uh, black line, can you see this dotted black line over here? Since uh, since I think what was uh, February, right? Okay, since here, uh, since April here, it has not broken the dotted black line until on Friday. That yes, if you understand, okay, if not broken since, since uh, until Friday, since April, until Friday, it broke the resistance. So this is more bullish or less bullish? more bullish, okay? So let's say, example, we mark the same price, okay, mark the same price over here, okay? Uh, I remove this thing over here. So let's say, example, we were to look at the same price here, okay? So this price over here, compared to this price over here, which is the same price, okay? Or even this price over here, okay? So one, two and three all on the same level. Yes or no? Four, one, five, eight. Okay, all on the same level. So here you, the trend is what? Okay, here we can see it's red color, it's coming down. The resistance is here, the teeth is here. So it's downtrend, yes or no? Clear, right? So here we can see it's still downtrend, resistance is here, it's pretty still red color, even though no teeth, okay? But right now, same thing, no teeth, that means the trend is not strong. And right now, it's broken resistance. So one, two, and three, which one is the more bullish one? One, two, or three? Three, yes or no? Okay, one is the most bearish uh, because one, we have the red, can, red, red candle down with the teeth. Second one, red candle down with no teeth, but resistance is above. Third one, red candle down, no teeth, plus break resistance. Okay, so same price, four, one, five, eight. Right now, compared to me, we are more bullish right now. Yes or no? Okay, we are bullish. But this is very, very, very short term time frame. Okay, very short term time frame. This is maybe uh, days. Okay, days. Okay, next we can also look at the 
uh, moving average. Okay, so next thing is how do we know that uh, this move, right? This move down, you can do the weekly charts. Huh? This move down uh, will complete. Okay, will complete. How do we know? Okay, by now you all should have some idea. How do we know that this move down finished already? Okay, but we started when? Before the war. Huh? We started here. This is the war. War was uh, 24th was here. And then right now we are almost eight back to the war price. Okay. So how do we know that um, we will be we will be recovering? Okay. Any anyone got any any um, idea? Okay, higher, high, high, low, 2040 MA, longer candle broke W. W actually talked about it last week. Huh? Okay, so we have this W shape, right? Okay, W shape is broken. Okay, yes or no? Type yes, you can see. Okay, to have more confirmation, to have more confirmation, I think all I need to do is to wait, look for this blue line. Okay, to be broken. Okay, so if the blue line is broken, W shape is formed, I think further upside, okay? If you look at the weekly charts, these are all bearish candle. Type yes, if you understand. Bearish, very, 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 very bearish, okay? This one, last candle is a bullish candle, yes or no? Okay, so this is a bullish candle right now over here. So the momentum for this down move change. Do you all agree? This down move since uh, April has changed already. Type yes, if you understand. Okay, so this down move here has changed. The mode, uh, the, the down mode uh, has changed. Okay, right now we are looking for up mode. The thing is up can go up how much? Okay, go up how much number one? Uh, of course, if you are bull, you want it to go up as much as possible. Okay, um, so the next question is, how do I know when is the pivot? When do I know when it will turn? Okay. You can use many methods. You can use the W shape, which I covered before. Okay, uh, this is the W shape. We talk about this. Okay, or you can use the break of the forty MA. Or if you want to be even more sure, once it break, if uh, if we break out there here, it will come back down. By then the MA will from here will turn. Over here, you will also know. Do you follow what I'm saying? Type yes if you understand. Okay, so many methods. Ah. Okay, either you break the MA, whether you break the, wait for it to be confirmed, break up and then come down, or you will for W shape to be broken. Okay, so once the W shape is broken, then wait for retracement, retest the W shape, that will also be an entry. Okay. So these are many ways to tell you, hey, uh, the this move down over. At least right now, what we can see say uh, is from here until here, this down mode here has changed. How do I know this down mode has changed? It's because when a weekly charts, you can see from here to here, all these are bearish candle. And this week is a very what? Bullish candle. Type yes, if you understand. Okay, so guys, um, for members of public, we have like 234 of them. Um, for those people who are not in the SMT community, I want to uh, encourage you all to be part of our community. Uh, we What we do is every week, beside the three days class that we do, we have a weekly webinar. They will update the, uh, the graduates. At the same time, we also manage a portfolio our portfolio, yes or no? Our portfolio, majority of the stocks we got out how, when? Majority of the stock we got out when? About how long? About one month or two months ago? Yes or no? Okay, one month or two months ago, we got out of the position. Right now, we are holding one stock and then one stock is profitable. That yes for the SMD graduate, if you agree. Okay, we have one stock that is profitable. The rest we got out, I think we got out four stocks on the same week. Three of them are profitable, one is not profitable, okay? So uh, that was just even before the correction, okay? Okay, so uh, guys, uh, for those that um, the SMT community, 
type in, uh, I don't know what other things to do. Okay, type in SMT. If you encourage people who are not in the SMT community to join us in our SMT community. Okay, and some someone can think of other ways to uh, encourage the public to join us. Okay, especially, especially when market is down. Yes or no? Okay, when market is down, you want to have more communication rather than less communication. You want to, you want people to, you want some, some people, they, when the market is down, they disappear. That's not very good, right? So when the market is down, all the more we need to communicate what's happening and things like that, okay? So at the end of the day, of course, uh, what I want to uh, do is really, this is my life work. Lah. This is like, I've done this for like training, right? For like 15 years. Okay, I've done like uh, uh, this weekly webinar, I think it's six, seven years, five, six years, maybe. We record every week of our webinar, put in the members area, and that's how we build our community together, okay? Because I believe that uh, tra trading cannot be learned in three days, ah. yes or not? Okay, trading is an ongoing thing when the market is moving. How do we know that uh, right now, long term is what trend, you know? How do we know short term is what trend? We must have a method, yes or not? So for those that are interested to join us in our community, uh, click on this link. We have a webinar tomorrow. Okay, we have a webinar tomorrow. And um, if you want to be part of our community, go and sign up. Okay, yes, it's tomorrow. Go and sign up in this link. Okay, and even the SMT community, if you have people that feel that can benefit from the, uh, can benefit from our community, come and invite them. Okay, come and invite them to be part of our community. Okay, so. Uh, I'll post up the link over here also so that you can invite them also, okay? Okay, so yeah, Colleen, continue to guide and assure us up and down. Yeah, I think it's important not just in the up market. Yes, no, up market, every guru is there. When down market, all the guru disappear. <laughs> That's not very good also, right? Okay, so yeah, so okay, so... Let's move on. Okay, so this is SMP 500. Any question in terms of, so in terms of time frame, that's very clear. Okay, I can also go in, down into a smaller time frame, even like uh, daily charts and things like that uh, to, to let you all know. Okay, so daily charts right now, daily charts right now, that is a swing trade setup. Yes or no? For SMP graduate, understand what swing trade setup, right? That yes, if you understand, 20, 40 sloping down. Yes or no? 20, 40 sloping down, CCI high. That is a swing trade setup. Mark the low for a swing trade down. Yes or no? That is how long trade? A one week trade. Okay? That's a one week trade, five days trade. Okay? So if it breaks down, that is a swing downwards for a five days trade. What, what will change this is if the price close above the 40 MA, then all bets are off. Type yes if you understand. Okay, most of you understand. Okay, so that is a short term five, five, uh, five days trade if you want, if it goes down, but don't anticipate. Okay, if you go down, then you swing trade. Okay, but it doesn't, it breaks above, then all bets are off, no more, no more trades already. By the way, I already mentioned before, right, uh, that we should tighten our stop for short, we should also cover some of our short position. But yes, if I've mentioned that before, okay? If you see, I hope, uh, I don't know yet. If you see, we can, um, this is May, okay? This is May. If we can, this is monthly chart, uh, May. Can you see a swing trade of monthly chart? That yes, you can see a swing trade of monthly chart. Okay, so the other way around, this is a monthly chart. Five, uh, one candle is one month. So we can see the setup already. Yes or no? We have the 2040 sloping up. The 2040 sloping up, is it strong or weak? Strong or weak? Strong. Okay, it's strong. It's, it's opening up. Okay, it's strong. And we have the CCI low. Okay, so we have a swing trade setup on the monthly chart. If we can swing trade setup on monthly chart, how long can we trade this for? If we can, if it's a trigger, that means break this last month high, how long can we trade this for? Long, long, long. <laughs> Not five, five candle, uh, five months, uh, five to six months. Do you follow what I'm saying? 
five to six months. Do you understand what I'm saying? Five to six months. Same thing, like, same theory. Okay, so five to six months, five to six days, uh, five to six weeks. Okay, so if this get triggered, okay, around four, three, seven, eight, then we have at least five months to trade up. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That yes, if you understand. So you keep that in mind. Uh, okay, if it get triggered, then we have another five to six months trade up. Oh, okay, so notice last time this is what happened here, here, here. Uh, okay, all this lah. Okay, here, here. Okay, so take note of the CCI low, monthly chart. What happened? This is no trigger. Type yes if you agree. Oh, yes, a trigger here, but for stop up. Okay, yes or no? Okay. Then from here, even to 1996, 1994, when they start increasing interest rate, 96, same thing. Okay, so there are triggers that you can swing trade a few months. But yes, if you understand. Okay, so all these are swing trade setup that you can swing trade up. Okay, this one will stop out. Okay, because the chain down. Okay, but then if not, then here, all these are trade setup. Okay, all these are trade setup. Okay, so guys, you are more correct than wrong. Lah. Yes or no? Okay, for every correct, uh, you have maybe, uh, I mean, maybe three or I think four or five correct, then you have one wrong. Yes or no? Okay, so take note of that. Um, any other things? Okay, that's all. Um, Any other question? Any other question? Would it even go lower after? Everything is possible, lah, okay? If you trade, put the stop loss, lah, okay? So if you trade ready, let's say example, this on the W, right? This is the downtrend, right? Okay, so it's downtrend like that. Okay, then the W is form, you buy, you enter here, we form a higher, high, higher low. Okay. Oh, sorry. This one I, I maybe skip a lot. Huh? Okay. So you enter already. You, let's say you enter here, then you can put a stop loss either below here or below here. Got it? Okay. So you do a trade. Okay. So everything is possible. Do you follow? What I'm saying, even let's say right now our, our, our position is very low, long term is up. Uh, one year now is uh, down. Three nine months is down, uh, things like that. It may still change. Do you follow what I'm saying? But what I'm sharing with you all here is we don't change our mind often. Uh. Yes or no? Type yes if you agree. Like weekly position, we already know it is down since here. Yes or no? Daily position, we already know it is down since uh, here. We, we don't change our mind often. Uh. We, since here, we know it's down already. And this is quite obvious, right? It's down already. So, but we don't change our mind. Like every 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 uh week uh, change, right? Okay, then it's the that's the Prata shop, uh, okay. Everyone <laughs> change right? <laughs> okay, so nimble, okay. But you see, when you are on the time frame, you cannot change so often. Do you follow I'm saying? Let's say example, you're doing three to nine months, your decision making process will be within three to nine months, one change. Do you follow what I'm saying? Or maybe three months, one change. It cannot be like, every, let's say a three to nine months view, three to nine months view. You cannot every drop, uh, they say, hey, here now uh, bearish, then here bullish again, here bearish again. Do you follow what I'm saying? You cannot keep changing your mind when you are three to nine months straight. So when you're looking at this chart, remain the same from here to here is bullish, that means bullish. Do you follow what I'm saying? You cannot every drop then change. Hey, now become bearish. Hey, now become bearish. Here become bearish. Then cannot okay. Same thing for weekly charts. When you are sticking on weekly charts, then your decision making process is can can be from one year, uh, six months to about one year. Okay, so example when we say bullish, here is bullish, here is bearish. This is how long. This is about um June until February. Okay, about two years. Yes or no? So we don't change our mind within this period. We don't change our mind. Does it make sense? Like yes, if it makes sense. Oh, so same thing for the 
for the uh, very short term, then you can change your mind on daily, uh, or maybe a, a week you can change your mind, but you cannot change your mind when you look at whatever time frame, you cannot keep changing your mind. Okay, then you will have what we call whipsaw in and out of the market. Okay, then not good. Okay, um, bottom line is like that. Bottom line, you want to have a system to guide you in the market. Yes or no? How many agree that having a system is very important? Like whether you're long-term or whether you're short-term, having a system is most important because it removes your emotion. So if you say, I want to trade S&P 500 and I want to trade it for the next three months, what should I do now? Then you will know what to do right now, okay? There was short position over here, so you know what to do. Yes or no, okay? And then here are not buy signals, but no time to explain, but Obviously, there's no buy signals here. Okay, so then you can trade three to nine months. Okay, so that is the key. Okay, next we go to Nasdaq. Um, Nasdaq 100. Okay, sectors, right, guys? Sectors. Um, do you all know what sectors are in trend right now? Oh, we all should know. Okay, oil and gas. What else? Basic materials and oil and gas basic materials. Huh? Okay, uh, these are the right now in trend one, okay? Uh, later part, not yet. Uh, I think let's talk about what is in trend right now. Basic, basic materials and um, industri art industrial also, crap. Basic materials is like your steel, uh, aluminum, uh, all these are basic material, okay? Industrial will be like manufacturing, all this will be industrial, okay? Got it? Okay, so currently in trend, steel, oil, basic materials, industrial. These are the few things, okay? I think industrial may continue to do well, okay? Got it? Okay, let's look at NASDAQ right now. Uh, weekly charts first. So the things I shared right now, it is not... Do you agree that it doesn't change? Like, example, weekly charts is down, it's still down, yes or no? Since... Since here is really down, yes or no? Okay, so here is down. Of course, we will say, oh, hit, hit support and things like that, but can I stick to rate really? Okay, so down. And then right now, what's happening? What's happening right now? You notice that the resistance is here. Yes or no? Even though there's a trend, there's a way up, there's a move up, the resistance is still above the resistance, just now, okay? So that is for weekly charts, for daily charts, also broken the resistance. Can you see here? Broken the resistance. So on the three to nine months time frame, three to nine months time frame, this move down from here, from here to here, may be completed already, okay? That means this down move here may finish already, okay? That is for the next, three to nine months view, okay? For the one year view, for the one year view, till now, no change. Type yes, if you understand. Still too early to tell, okay? Too, too early to tell. Uh, need to have more evidence, okay? Okay, by the time it turns blue, then can go in. Uh. Now, not the time to go in yet, okay? So, any question? Stocks, we cover later, okay? Uh, next is let's go to STI. Okay, who's still holding STI stocks uh, index since uh, April 2020? Type me or type STI if you're still holding STI. Okay, so we did this uh, since 2020. Say, hey, that is the market low. Now it's the time to buy. And um, well, also already, uh, STI. Okay. Okay, so we are still up from April until now, about 25%. I think we are still in the middle of the recovery. Uh, not yet, okay? Um, I also mentioned about Hang Seng Index. Yes or no? Okay. Okay, so what is this line over here? This is like the crisis line, okay? So we have Asian financial crisis, SARS, global financial crisis, and COVID. And right now we are here, okay? This is, uh, this is STI, okay? So then after that, we have Hang Seng. Hang Seng is a more interesting chart. Type yes, if you can see Hang Seng. This is Asian financial crisis, SARS, global financial crisis, 
now. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, so I reached a level, sub, uh, a, a, a trend line support that I think is a good value to buy right now. Type yes, if you understand. Okay, why three to nine months uh, NASDAQ could recover? Simple, because the very long term is up. Uh, if our view is correct, uh, if my view is correct, right? very long term is up. Uh. So, and we are still in the middle of the recovery. Okay. So, I, okay, so maybe just to share with your market top. How do you know that market top? Very simple. Must a few, few, few signs that you can see one market top. When the market is at the peak and turn down bad from top, turn down to bad trend, what are the indication uh, based on data? What are the indication when market top and turn down? Do you all know? I don't know. <laughs> I think I do. I don't know. Okay, market top. Okay, let's look at the top uh, of the market. Okay, so let's say Asian financial crisis. Okay, Asian financial crisis. I uh, know, uh, uh, global financial crisis. Who was here in global financial crisis? Like me were uh, here. Nobody here. All news on all new budget. So market top, what happened is after a sustained increase in interest rate, sustained increase in interest rate, market start to flatten, don't increase anymore. Market is at the good spot right now. No need to tighten anymore, no need to loosen anymore. Uh, economy is growing, but at a good pace. Okay. By then, you need to be careful. Okay. So interest rate from initial low. Keep increasing until high, start to plateau. During this time, then you need to be careful. Lah. Type yes if you understand. Okay, why? Because after plateau already, you see the market top in 2007. Got it? Type yes if you understand. Okay, same thing over here. You start to increase. Increase the time, never mind. Okay, so in between, there will be correction like here. Okay, but Increase here, never mind. Then after that, what happened? Flatten. Flatten. Okay. Flatten. And then after that, from high, start to drop. Can you see? This is COVID. Type yes, you can see. Oh, so usually what happened is they will keep tightening, tightening, tightening until they too tight. Okay. Until too tight. Then they start to flatten and reduce interest rate. When they reduce interest rate, then you sell. Type yes if you understand. Can you see that, guys? This is reduced interest rate. This is sorry. This is reduced interest rate. This is reduced interest rate. This is the market when they reduce interest rate. This is the market when they reduce interest rate. Do you follow what I'm saying? Now got any talk of reducing interest rate or not? Type yes or no. No, so don't scare. Do you have follow what I'm saying? Okay, I have data until here only, but if we have data longer term, uh, it's the same. Uh, okay, it's the same. Got it? Okay, got it? In between, when they increase, in the period, uh, there will be correction. Like here, when they first increase, there will be, there will be some correction. Okay, if it, if they increase, there will be some correction. Like in the, in the beginning, here you see here, there's some correction here, there's some correction. It's normal when they first increase. Okay, that is normal. They're just reacting. Okay, so from here, you see this part, the market flat. Can you see market flat here? Okay, this part, when they first increase, the market flat for a few months. Oh, for a few months, it'll be flat. After that, when it start to increase more, then okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So, so understand why, where am I coming from? So, but take note that uh, this is long-term cycle. Okay, this is long-term cycle. This is not short-term cycle. This cycle is from like 2010, 2009 until 11 years cycle. 11 years cycle. Okay, this cycle also uh, from 2003, earlier, right? 2003 until here. Okay, so it's a longer-term cycle. Got it? Okay, so... And anyway, this is my view. I may be wrong. Got it? Okay, so Hang Seng Index, back to the value already. Uh, um, 
my view is uh, that's all already. Lah. Okay, this will be the maximum it will go. Okay, and it will, my view, it will not go lower. Type yes if you understand. My view, it will not go lower. Why? Is because uh, inflation. Lah, oh. Your chicken rice here in 2009, 2009, how much? Okay, your chicken rice at uh, SARS at time, how much? Okay. And your chicken rice now, how much? All chicken rice also different already. Yes or no? Got it? So chicken price different, uh, your, your, your price in, let's say, uh, US dollar, right? So US dollar has printed so much over the years. Yes or no? So US dollar has printed so much over the years, uh, it should not go back to this level. Does it make sense? Even in global financial crisis, it was higher than SARS. Even in SARS, it was higher than Asian financial crisis. So that's inflation. Now. Got it? Okay, so if you have time to wait one, okay, you don't mind like uh, buy and then just do nothing when I don't see one, then Hang Seng is good, okay? But it will not go up immediately, okay? In fact, uh, in fact, when it hit the this level, right, it will be a draggy uh, thing, okay? So when it hit that level, it may drag, uh, okay? But eventually you go up. Do you follow what I'm saying? So even when you hit the uh, Asian financial crisis, uh, uh, sorry, global financial crisis here, it may not immediately go up. So say it's SARS, okay, you see here, it may not touch and then it may go up. Okay, same thing over here. When it touch, it may not immediately go up, not straight line, it will form even a W shape. Okay, a W shape then go up. Uh, same thing over here, when it touch, it doesn't immediately go up. Okay, so same thing over here, when it touch right now, it may go up and then retest again, but eventually it will Does it make sense? Like, yes, if you understand, okay? So the, then the key is, what, how, what is the strategy? Just buy this dollar cost averaging, like, just keep buying, buy, 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 buy. I think one year should be good enough. Like. Yes or no? Okay, if you keep buying, one year should be good enough, okay? Uh, any question? Uh, please like and share the post. Oh, today don't have sad face. Eh? Usually you got an angry face or, or today don't have so surprised. Okay. <laughs> okay, any question? No question. That good. HSI, uh, Hong Seng Index can buy 282800. 2, 2, that is one of the index, 2800. The other one is Tracker Fund or 282802, 2, 2, right? Is it 2802 or 280? What's the other code? I forget already. 2833. Ah. Oh, sorry. 2833. Okay, these are the two codes. Okay, both listed in uh, Hang Seng. Okay. Um, any question? Public, please like and share the post. If you can like and share the post. I think majority are graduates. Ah. Okay, so... um. That's all for Hang Seng. Any question? SPY, same thing as SMP. Okay, SPY, same thing as SMP. Um, A50, 2823. Okay, 2823. Also about the same. Okay, if you were to zoom out long term, this is the trend line. Okay, so A50 uh, is a bit uh, a different market. Uh, okay, it's not right. So open up market, right? So, but I, I feel that it has also hit a value that value zone. Okay. It's a value zone. Got it? Okay, since one six here, here, and then here. Oh, so this this is weekly charts, a long term time frame, right? So I think this part is also a good level to buy. Got it? The only thing I mentioned before is must be patient. You cannot like expect next week to make money. Okay, you want to buy, you want to expect maybe to be very, very, very safe two years. Ah. If it's safe, I think one year safe. Already. Okay, but I write six months ah, to recover already. Six months. Okay, so six months from touch this point, look forward, six months should be profitable. Okay, but let's say you get so put two years and not scared. Ah. Okay, make sense or not? Making sense so far, guys? That yes, if it makes sense. Okay, so China market is still developing. Lah, okay, I think as the economy, as the, the stock market become more open, it will have its own, it will be more correlated to the rest of the market. 
Okay, if not, then any other index? If not, we call it a day for the public. Okay, so for SMT graduate, please go to Zoom room. Okay, the Zoom, the Zoom room is in the graduates group. Okay, uh, go to the graduates group, go and check the Zoom room. Okay. Uh, you know, right? Go and go to the Zoom room and go into the Zoom room. Okay, guys. Uh, just last call, last call. Okay, uh, for those that are still public, please uh, join us in our SMT community. Uh, I only got two things. You type in the reason why you feel that they should join our SMT community. Thank you, guys. Okay, why they should join the SMT community. Anyway, we will be doing uh, real life live events soon. Okay, we will be doing live events soon. So type in why they should join the SMT community. You never trade alone like soccer. <laughs> you never trade alone. What else? Okay, can sleep at night without worry. What else? Good and su good support and informative. Penguin, what is Penguin? <laughs> Can see Colin all the time. Well, I don't know. Devon, I don't know whether it's a plus or not. Uh. <laughs> Can see Colin all the time. <laughs> okay. Portfolio green. Uh. That one good. Uh. Portfolio green is good. Okay. Uh, very good guy. Uh, what kind? Uh, what else? Lifetime support. Yeah. Uh, this one I agree. Lifetime support. Okay. Uh, my life. My lifetime support. Uh, okay. So I don't know how how long you go okay by, by, by the way there's a lot of people that support your yes or no beside me uh, now we got jay we got a uh, royster yes or no we got mark to support you okay so if i'm not around you are on safe hands already yes or no i think jay does a very good job okay and these are people are not just coaches they do webinar for your yes or no okay they also do webinar for your i think that is the, really the 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 support okay Okay, so uh, what well, are the reason to join SMT? The systematic trading, don't overthink. Many coaches to support. Simple move, simple market moving ideas. Okay, constant encouragement and support. Emotionless trading. I think that is very important. Ian got cane. Oh, nowadays, I understand don't use cane already. Lah, because when the market is down, ah, don't be so hard. Yes or no? I use cane more when you are uh, over trading. Remember that part? Hello? Type yes, you must remember when the market was very overheated. I say don't over trade. Yes or no? Type yes if you agree, then use came because greedy my crowd. The market is down and sayang. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Okay. But when you greedy, you over trade, huh? The cane will come. Okay. Makes sense or not? Remember or not the time when the market was very overheated. I say, hey, don't, 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 don't over trade. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh come and join us in our uh, SMT community. Tomorrow we are having a class. Go and go to this link can. Uh, sign up the uh sign up and find out what's this SMT community about. I will also show you what is this system about, how can you use this system to guide you in your trade. Okay, okay, then we can show you how to pick stocks like this. Okay, how to pick stocks like this. Uh, this is actual trade, yes or not? Okay, so if not, then thank you very much, public. Can we say bye to them? Then we have our internal chatting session.